Alta, California, autumn 1847. Long coveted by American traders from the east, the bountiful land of California is on the verge of becoming American territory. A year before, in June, with war with Mexico imminent, a band of American-born trappers and traders riding under the bare flag seized control of the Mexican settlement at Sonoma. They proclaimed a new republic. With Mexico quickly defeated in an American war of expansion, the way was cleared for transfer of sovereignty. That year, immigrants from the east continued to arrive from the overland trail, but not without incident. In October, a party from Illinois, led by George Donner, arrived at the Sierra Nevada late. By the time they approached the summit, winter had set in. Almost half died. But in the new year, Californians, including land-rich John Sutter, went on optimistically preparing for more arrivals. Already, the mixed Anglo and Hispanic population stood at 13,000. In the fall of 1847, California was set to become the new American promised land, a place of fertile soil, stunning landscape, and agreeable weather. Yankees saw it as a land of unlimited potential, dreadfully underutilized by Mexican and Indian. An industrious people, they thought, could change all that. In fact, events were soon to overtake everyone. Late that year, a carpenter from New Jersey, James Marshall, set out with a party from Sutter's Fort for the foothills of the Sierra Nevada. Their enterprise? To build a timber mill on the American River and provide lumber for the growing needs of 1848. In California, in the distant United States, even in far off Europe, everything was about to change. <laughs>